Right, so I know this video is kind of late. I was kind of busy out of town, that kind of stuff. So today we'll be testing Hellblade 2 with the RX 2070 Super. You can see everything on the screen right there. I've been accused of uh, providing fake benchmarks once again. But yeah, you can see it's a 12400 FCPU with a 2070 Super. That is paired with 32 gigabytes of DDR4, 3600 megatransfers per second memory. And uh, that's pretty much it, right? So we'll be testing a 1080p, 1440p and 4K. We'll be starting off with a DLAA on the high preset at 1080p. You can see it gives you a projected performance of 42 frames per second here. And it seems to be quite uh, accurate to getting around 40 frames per second here. And I mean, if you, if you want the console experience, this is pretty much where you'd be able to play with this GPU. And by console experience, I mean 30 frames per second. So you can just lock this to 30 frames per second. You can see our 0.1% lows are above 30 as well. Uh, there are some stutters here and, here and there, and uh, it dropped below uh, 30 there for a second as well. But uh, you'll probably be getting a decent 30 frames per second experience. Right, so now if we kick on DLSS quality, we almost double our frame rate. It's around 70 to 80% uh, increase in the frame rate there. And now we're sitting with around 55 frames per second on average. This is actually pretty decent. I personally would aim for 60 frames per second in this game. I know it's an artistic design choice to, to make the game run at 30, or that's uh, what we've been told at least, but uh, I do prefer 60 frames per second. Now, if we just kick on DLSS balanced here, we start getting into diminishing returns uh, territory because we only gained like three to four frames per second here, around 10%. So it's not terrible, but the the trade-off between visuals and performance with DLSS balance especially at 1080p is just not worth it so DLSS quality is probably the best bet if you want to play on the high preset at 1080p right now moving on to the medium preset with DLAA you can see we're getting much pretty we're getting pretty much the same frame rate as what we had at uh, DLSS quality on the high preset the game still looks plenty good on the medium preset it looks good on the low preset even so this is it's one thing that or, or a setting that I personally would consider getting close to 60 frames per second without using any upscaling I'm not the biggest fan of upscaling at 1080p although in this game it it does look quite okay it's, uh, except for the rain particles the rain particles do become a little bit more distorted, pixelated, a little bit of a, blur, a blurry, smeary mess. Uh, DLSS quality is still fine, but the moment we go to DLSS balanced or or anything above that, it does become a little bit distracting, right? So we're getting around 70 frames per second average, uh, which is uh, probably probably what I'd recommend if you've got this GPU. That is if you are targeting 60 frames per second. Right, so if we drop this down to the low preset, I'm not going to be testing the LSS balanced on the medium preset. As I said, balanced at 1080p or balanced upscaling at 1080p is just not worth it to me. So here we are getting native uh, 60 frames per second at native resolution. Remember DLAA is just using anti-aliasing from DLSS, it's not actually upscaling. So getting 60 frames per second here, and if you don't want to use upscaling at 1080p, then uh, this is what you'll have to use to get 60 frames per second. Now, just kicking on DLSS quality here, you can see our frame rate increased by around uh, 15 to 20 frames per second. And it's, uh, I'm not, I don't think it's really worth it because you're not getting a high refresh rate experience here. And we are sacrificing quite a bit uh, in the visual department by using DLSS uh, quality at 1080p. Uh, sure, it, it looks uh, it looks okay, but like, we, we didn't gain that much when it comes to the frame rate, like nothing beneficial actually. So if we go to 1440p uh, DLAA, so native, we are not getting 30 frames per second. It's close, but uh, it's uh, this is a, not really the console experience um even so you will have to use upscaling now the the biggest drawback of this rdx 2070 super graphics card in this game is that there's no fsr3 frame generation and this gpu does not support dlss a frame generation so you'll have to use aggressive upscaling if you want to play on the high preset i'd highly advise against that because as you'll see we, even on uh, DLSS performance, we're not getting 60 frames per second on the high preset. So 
1440p is best played on um, medium or low settings with say balanced uh, DLSS uh, upscaling settings. We'll get to that but uh, I mean th this is perfectly fine to some people if you don't mind 30 frames per second uh, you got 40 frames per second there and if we kick on DLSS balanced we are once again getting around 10 to 20 percent uh, increase in the frame rate getting around uh, 46 frames per second now so once again not the biggest difference between quality and balanced although there is a noticeable difference in the visuals so just keep that in mind if you want a higher frame rate it's best just to drop the other resolution or the quality preset now if we enable DLSS performance here you'll see that we're still not getting 60 frames per second and I'm not going to be wasting too much time on this run the game doesn't look very good at this uh, at these settings so let's just uh, drop this down to medium right so on medium DLAA we are getting around 40 frames per second once again there are people that enjoy 40 frames per second gaming especially if they've got a 120 hertz uh, VRR display so they lock it to 40 frames per second and uh, the input latency is much better than at 30 and with VRR enabled it can be a pleasant experience right uh, Personally, I'd still say I'd, I do prefer 60 frames per second at least. But, I mean, if you've got the, the hardware that we've got here, I can maybe maybe that's something you can consider playing at 40 frames per second. Now, if we enable the LSS quality here, we almost hit 60 frames per second here. I'd actually not mind playing like this. Sure, it's, uh, it's around 10 or 15% below 60 frames per second. But it's, it's really not that big of a, a difference especially in this kind of game it's very slow paced the the action or the fighting scenes are also very slow paced it's always one-on-one -on -one combat so input latency is not really that big an issue and if you can get close to 60 frames per second uh, it's definitely worth it now if we kick on DLSS balanced here we're still not maintaining 60 frames per second and once again you do take a bit of a hit to the visuals and I don't think it's worth it you you gain six seven frames per second now unless you are really worried about tearing you don't have a vrr display and you want to play with vsync on then i mean you'd, you'd still get a slight tearing because it's not maintaining 60 frames per second but it gets you closer now if we kick on dlss performance this is the first time we are actually seeing 60 or above 60 frames per second at 1440p but DLSS performance at 1440p to me personally not worth it all right so now let's try the the low preset here and now we can see there's not that big a difference between low and medium at the the medium preset got us around 40 frames per second now we're getting 45 frames per second so 10 percent uh, increase in the performance here or increase in the frame rate it does not <laughs> increase uh performance your gpu performs the exact same way it's just you're taking load off it by using upscaling or lower settings etc anyway it's just a technicality so getting around 45 frames per second here on the low preset it still looks plenty good and uh, it's definitely nothing to be ashamed of playing on a low but now if we kick on DLSS quality we are once again above 60 frames per second so if if you want to play at 1440p 60 frames per second unfortunately you'll have to play on the low preset with a DLSS set to quality or as we saw previously the medium preset with DLSS performance which in my personal opinion is just not worth it All right so 62 frames per second average here and very respectable lows as well All right so now if we drop this down to DLSS balanced we gain a few frames per second although as i as i tried to say earlier i'm not sure if the the message comes across as well I, the the increase in the frame rate is not that significant that i'd say it's worth the drop in visuals because we're not getting close to a high refresh rate experience here so i'd either play at 60 frames per second or at 100 frames per second right anything in between is to me personally not uh, not worth it so just aim for 60 frames per second i'd say now i just want to show you if we enable <laughs> the high preset at 4k yeah just look at the the top right there it actually shows you the the actual performance as is so we are running heavily out of vram here we're sitting at eight gigabytes of vram and uh, at 2.4 frames per second so kicking on a dlss performance again it slowly recovers it takes a little bit of time and there we go so the vram cleared and now we're using 5.8 gigabytes of vram and we're getting uh, 30 frames per second <laughs> okay so 
yeah we are 4k high dlss performance this is not a 4k gpu it wasn't a 4k gpu when it launched but i mean i'm just here to test everything i must say that the game looks absolutely fantastic even at 4k dlss performance remember that's 1080p internal resolution upscale to 4k and if you if you have a high output of, uh, resolution like 4k it does actually look very very good now this is a far cry from 4k native but this gpu just can't do 4k native all right so the best performance we'll be able to get on the high preset is when we enable ultra performance and we're getting 44 45 frames per second so <laughs> not uh, not really ideal but uh, this is not unexpected right it's 2070 super it came out in 2019 it's an 8 gigabyte uh, gpu it's it's not the fastest and um, five is all at this point it's just uh, interesting to to be able to test now if we drop this down to the medium preset using dlss quality we are getting around 30 frames per second so once again the the console experience I, I keep on referring to it as a console experience because the game runs at 30 frames per second on the xbox and this is actually not terrible if you if you're aiming for that 30 frames per second the medium preset dlss quality gives us a pretty solid 30 frames per second uh, pretty much all of the time and it looks fantastic now i just want to see what the highest frame rate is we can actually get with gp at 4k uh, on the medium preset we enable ultra performance and we're not able to hit 60 frames per, se per second not unexpected at all i'm not i'm not expecting to hit 60 frames per second here with this gpu but uh as I said, I just find it very interesting to, to test these kinds of uh, settings as well. Uh, I know there are some people out there interested in them as well because uh, maybe there are people driving a 4K monitor with a 2070 Super. Now, I'm not going to be testing too much on the low preset, just going to enable the low preset with DLSS Ultra Performance here. And it's the first time, once again, we're getting above 60 frames per second at 4K, which is impressive if you think about it. In those terms but uh, when you realize it's actually 720p internal resolution it's not that impressive <laughs> right uh, dlss does have some overheads so it does uh, perform slightly worse than it would have at uh, 720p but uh, there you have it right uh, that's going to be the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one